Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Alex and in this video we have some uh, plant mail to unbox. Now, some of you who have been subscribed for a little while may remember a while back that um, a girl called Cassia did a, uh, did a video for me where she showed some of the plants that I bought um, but I didn't have room for and uh, she said she was going to look after them and uh, well, that lasted for a little while too long really, they've probably been there for a couple of months now, so she's uh, she sent them back to me, because I've said that I've cleared a little bit of space, and uh, we'll see what's inside. So I'll just start un uh, unboxing it now, and uh, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've uh, cut open the box, and as you can see it's really well packaged, and uh, I'll start to... Uh, unwrap some plants for you, so Now if you don't know who this person is, so uh, she's got a channel, uh, she's got a, not a channel, I wish she did have a channel But she's got a Facebook page called um, Suck Shop, S-U-C-C-S-H-O-P And uh, she sells all sorts of succulents and um, You should definitely check her out, I'll leave, uh, I'll leave a link somewhere down below, so I think First off, we'll start with this this one here that's open. Try and pull it out gently. So there we go. This isn't one that I bought. This is a. Um, she said she would include a couple of extras. So this is a, a Hawthia turgida. Try and brighten that up for you a little bit. There you go, so it's a really beautiful uh, wind window to Orthia. Feels nice and healthy. So I really like that one. Lots of pups on it, as you can see. Nice big clump. Sorry, it's out of focus. There we go. So I'll put that down to one side. Okay, so next up we've got another horse here, as you may be able to spot a bit of a trend after a while. But I think this one's called Hawthia Rideriana. It has really nice windows on it. Um, I think this will look fantastic when it's uh, plumped up. Most of here will be in some sort of dormancy, or coming out of dormancy. So uh, I'll pop that up and... That'll be interesting to watch. So that's number two. Okay, so next up is another one that I wasn't that I hadn't purchased, um, or that I wasn't expecting. This is a Crassula redhorn. It's a variegated form of uh, Crassula golem. Um, so that'll be interesting. It, it's a little bit like the Hummel sunset. Of the uh, of the golem world, so in uh, intense sun, you'll get this really bright yellow and red kind of colouring all over it. So that's a a really nice plant, and I think she's got a couple of these. So if I upload this video in time, you might be able to go out and have a look and grab one for yourself. So that's that one. Okay, so next one looks a little bit like uh, some form of Hawthia pumilla. That'll be nice. There you go, so that's that one. Okay, so this is a Crassula Moonglow. As you can see, it's really badly etiolated. But it was like that when I actually bought it and uh, had it sent to Cassie's house. So, as you can see, in the time that she's had it, it's actually become quite compact. So, what I'll have to do with that is uh, probably just chop it about here and then uh, maybe get some some pups forming on the stem but uh, they're a really really beautiful plant when they're, they're well established and compact so I look forward to growing this one it's quite rare, fairly hard to come by so very happy to have one and uh, yeah 
Okay, so there's way more in here than I remember. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is an, another horse here. Not sure on the name of this one. I could go back and look at the other video that she made. It looks nice, it's a windowed one. Um, definitely needs to plump up a little bit, so hopefully I'll try and get this well rooted. Uh, it does have roots. But I guess she's left it dry for a little while so she could send it to me. But they were in a really bad state when I actually bought them, so I'm amazed that they're still alive. So that just is a real testament to the fact that she's a really good grower. So that's that one. Okay, so next up is another one that wasn't really mine. It, this is a, uh, a, a variegated Hawthia. I'm going to say attenuata. But... Uh, I don't know if you can see, but it has stripes up the leaves, like vertically. But I think the variegation will get stronger over time. Oh, there we go. You can see it quite clearly on the on the bottom there. So there you go. That's really nice. That'll be that'll be great to grow. So that's that one. Okay. So next up, this one is called Hawthia Green Almonds. As you can see, it's got these really nice windows right at the top of the leaf. So I really like this one. I think again it'll look really, really good when it's um, nice and plump. Because at the moment it's quite dehydrated. But um, again, it was when she she got it, and that was before summer. So obviously they went into dormancy, and they've not really had a chance to perk up. So it will be a good challenge for me. So that's that one. Quite a lot of pups in there as well. Okay, so this is another. Hawthia, I'd say probably a, a Pumilla type, but it's not one I've ever really seen before. It's nice, very spotty. So there you go. There's that one. I didn't really realize quite how many there were. Um, I don't know where I'm going to put them all. Okay, so last but obviously not least is his. Absolutely massive Hawthia limifolia. So I'll just put my hand in there for reference. You can see it's it's bigger than my hand, and it's absolutely chock a block with pups. And this was actually la listed on her Facebook page for a bargain six pounds. So if you haven't checked her page out, you've got to go and have a look. Because I mean, that, look at the size of that plant. It must be pretty old. This because obviously. Hawthia are pretty slow growing at the best of times. I know Limifolia is quite a quite a slow growing variety, so there must be some age to this. Um, I mean, the one that I've got in the windowsill is maybe maybe the size of one of these pups. So again, I've got absolutely no idea where this is going to go. <laughs> but um, I may end up separating the pups out actually and putting them in um, in some pots to uh, in my auntie's pots to sell. If you remember, I made the little little video a while back showing those, so there you go. So I'll just give you a, another quick look over at the plants and uh, we'll wrap up the video, but wow, that's, uh, that's a really great bit of plant mail. And I look forward to showing you them as they kind of perk up and grow and uh, yeah. Okay, so I've taken it off the tripod just to give you a look. Uh, so it might be a little bit shaky, but I'll do my best. So there you go, that's the hall. So that's one of the Pumillas, another Pumilla type there. What I think is a Hawthia Rideriana, a big clump of Hawthia Turgida, um, a Red Horn Crusula. They're quite uncommon, actually. They're quite difficult to come by. Um, an unknown Hawthia there. And then the Hawthia Green Almonds, which I really like. Uh, the Moon Glow that needs needs a beheading. And there you go, you get a, a nice look at the variegation on that um, Hawthia. I'm going to say attenuato, I could be wrong, I'll, um, I will ask. But there you go, look at the size of that limifolia. So I really hope you've enjoyed that video. Give me a thumbs up if you, if you did. And um, please subscribe if you haven't already. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.